The final thing we need to look at in our process costing section is to consider a situation where perhaps a company has a choice between either selling their product after they have done a certain amount of processing or continuing the product on to further processing and perhaps selling it at a higher selling price after that further processing has been done. So a company may have two different options. So perhaps option one would be to input our units into process one, incur our conversion costs in process one, and after that, sell our product perhaps at £10 per unit. So this is the first option available to the company. However, it may be possible to do further processing on product A to turn it into some better product. So option two for the company would be again to run process one and incur our conversion costs. But instead of selling product A after process one, we will input product A into process two. If we run another process, we are going to have some additional conversion costs. But then perhaps at the end of process two, we're selling a new and better product. So we'll call it product B at some higher selling price. So maybe now we'll get 15 pounds per unit. So in, a quest in the exam, you may be presented with a question in this area where you are given some figures for a company and asked to decide which option is better for the company. Should they sell product A after the first process, or should they do some further processing on product A and sell the better product at the end of process two? Now, when we're making a decision like this, we need to consider two things. We need to consider, first of all, what are the additional costs of running the second process? And our second consideration will be what is the additional revenue we earn from selling the better product? And clearly, if the additional revenue earned is going to be higher than the additional costs we have incurred, then it makes sense for the company to do the further processing. Now let's have a look at an example then to see how this might be examined in the F2 exam. So we are told that PCC Limited produces two joint products from a single process. We have joint costs of 150,000 and at the end of the process um, we have 100,000 units of product A and 50,000 units of product C and we're, giving this, we're given the selling price for each of those two products. Then we are told that there is another option available to the company. So instead of selling product A, the company could do further processing on product A to produce 60,000 units of a better product called A+. If they do this, this further processing, they will incur some additional fixed and variable costs associated with our new process, but they will be able to sell A plus for a higher selling price than the original product A. Now we need to decide then which of these two options is better for the company. Before we get into our calculations, Let's have a look at our diagrams for our two different options. So starting with option one then.
we run our process one, where we have joint costs of 150,000 pounds. After process one, we sell 100,000 units of A at £1.25 per unit. We also sell 50,000 units of C at £2 per unit. So, this is what the company is doing currently. And we need to compare this to the potential option of doing our further processing on product A and in order to produce our better product, A+. So, under option 2 then, the first bit of our process will remain the same. So, we will run our process 1 and incur our joint costs of 150,000. After process 1, we are still going to sell 50,000 units of product C. So that bit remains unchanged. However, for product A, we are going to input product A into our process 2. In process 2, we incur some additional costs. Let's have a look to see what they were. We were told in process 2, if we do our further processing, we will have extra fixed costs of £20,000 and a variable cost of 30p per unit of input. And our selling price of A plus will be 325 So first dealing with our additional costs, we've got our fixed costs of 20000 and our variable costs of 30p per unit input. And then our output from the process, well, we are told if we do this additional processing, it will result in 60,000 units of A+. So our output then will be these 60,000 units, which we are going to sell for £3.25 each. So at the end of process 2, we sell 60,000 units of A plus at 325 each. So in order to establish whether the company should just continue to sell product A or to start selling A plus, we are going to have to consider two things. First of all, we'll have to calculate what are the additional costs incurred of running our second process? Then we will have to compare that to the additional revenue we earn. So at the moment, we are selling 100,000 units of A at £1.25 each. We need to look at how does this compare to selling 60,000 units of A plus at £3.25 each. So, let's have a look at our additional costs first. Well, we had our fixed cost of £20,000 and then we need to add on our variable cost. Our variable costs are 30 pence per unit we input into the second process. So let's just have a quick look back at our diagram to see how many units do we input into the process. 
Well, we said the units we input into the process will be our units of product A. And how many units of product A do we have after process 1? Well, we know that we have 100,000 units of product A after this process. So our input units are 100,000. So our variable cost then will be 30 pence for each of these 100,000 units. If we add that on to our fixed costs, we have 30 pence multiplied by 100,000 units. So our total additional cost then will be 50,000 pounds. And we've said we need to compare this to the additional revenue earned. So, first of all, how much revenue do we earn currently under option one? Under option one, we are selling 100,000 units of product A at £1.25 per unit. Under option two, we are selling 60,000 units of A plus at £3.25 per unit. So this should be a very straightforward calculation. Under option one, we're selling 100,000 units at 125 each giving us a total sales revenue for product A then of 125,000. Compare this to option two revenue. So under option two, we're going to sell 60,000 units of A plus with a selling price of 325. That will give us a total sales revenue of 195,000. So all we have to do is compare these two figures. Under option one, we currently earn 125,000. If we move to option two, our further processing, our sales revenue will be 195,000. So the additional revenue earned then will be the difference of £70,000. So finally then, we've done our calculations. Should the company continue to sell product A or should they do the further processing and sell product A plus? Well, we said that the additional revenue earned is going to be £70,000. Whereas the additional costs incurred will be £50,000. We can see clearly then that the additional costs are less than the additional revenue earned. Therefore, the company should do the further processing and sell product A+. Overall, their net profit from doing this further processing will be £20,000, just the additional revenue minus the additional costs.